Yeah, I got you that stuff. Oh, great. Thank you. Where's your wife? Mrs. Thornhill, she's mm. not my wife. She's got a husband and two lovely kiddies at home. We met online. It's n nothing sexual. Where is she? Well, she's been trying to throw herself under celebs' wheels. <laughs> well, well, she can throw herself under my wheels anytime. Oh, <laughs> I knew you were funny, Jock. Yeah. I knew I would like you. C can I have a hug? Okay. Yeah. Uh, hug, yeah. Uh, Come here. Come here. Uh, I've got a protruding hip. It's not a semi. Nigel! Jock! No. You won't believe what's happened! What? Only Al Dinapoli walking. He actually walks! He walks walk among, among us. us! Well, then what are you freaks waiting for? Well, that's a long story. Of mistaken identity. And a lot of lies. Stalking is not what I would call it. You're me! I told the judge I thought it was unfair. Yes, anyone's trousers could have come undone at that point. Exactly. Jolly bad luck, and we were such fans. If only we could talk to him. Yes, I know it was only his lawyers and agents. They ruin everything. If we could only get him somewhere private. You see, like that little lockup I know. No problemo. Look, there he is! Oh, shit. It's that crazy English bitch again. Nigel, he remembers me! To the chariot! Jock, you drive! Quick! He's getting away! Come on, Jock! Get in! Hurry! We're going to lose him! Unbelievable! He's taking a left turn down the high street, Jock! Did you ever imagine we might get a private audience with Al Di Napoli? Only in... Maybe I should have driven. In my wildest dreams. All those nights spent role-playing in Mother's utility room. If only we'd known. I loved him in The Redeemer. Oh, Nigel, do your Al Di Napoli line. This is turban warfare, motherfucker. <laughs> It's uncanny! <laughs> oh dear, poor Jock must think we're batty. Oh, don't be silly. I hear that behind his charitable public face, he's rem... Oh, my word! Jock! Do you see that lorry? What the fuck's a lorry? Have a little faith! Holy Anyone shit. think this was my first kidnapping? What on earth will we feed the man? I hadn't even thought of that. He probably eats sushi or queen what? Or quinoa. Is that even how you say it? What if he wants meth? Find out! He's going into the car park! The car park! No worries, mate! Oh, I hope he likes us! How could he not? This lockup you prepared sounds charming! Just be yourself, Mrs. Thornhill. Glad to see you on the proper side of the road, dear boy. Oh, my giddy aunt! Everything okay there, Earl Crazy Cakes? My prostate has taken quite a beating. Do you have to lower the tone? This must be second nature to you, Jock. All those stunts you used to do. And we saw you're up for governor of San Andreas. That's right! In between openly attacking celebrities all over town, I'm running for public office. This level of derangement, I'm impressed. Is he going through the hospital? Oh, my lord! Hold on to your corsets! The fire car! Careful! Uh, seems rude not to follow him through the window. Bloody hell! Such a thrill! Ah, uh, would you like me to escort your guest of honor to the trunk? Well, if you don't mind. Oh, come here, you. Come on. Come on. Let me meet your biggest fan. Oh, ah. no. You're fucking crazy. Oh, it's Get off me. Uh. You're good to go. Ah, a true gentleman. This is so exciting. Nut jobs. Oh, 
he's making such a fuss, these celebs. Oh, they're not like you or me. Ah! Ah, apart from you, Jock. <laughs> Would you go and get him one of his favorite pizzas? No. Well, then I don't know what to do with him. I mean, he hasn't eaten for a few days. You've kidnapped a major movie star, okay? Now, you can either leave him somewhere and hope he's been sufficiently scared shitless to stay quiet, or you can send him on the kind of trip he won't come back from. Oh, a trip! Such fun! Oh dear, oh dear, what a palaver this is! Decisions, decisions! If you could just handle this, Jock. Mm. Al is in the boot of the car. You'd be doing us such a favor. I'm really not one for goodbye. He's doing. Well, it, it's a very big decision. Hello? Hey! Hello? What's happening? Who are you? I'm the man getting you from A to B. Uh, A being the trunk of this car, and B being a horrific scenario of my choosing. Oh, God, please, no! I, I, I have money on me! Lots of money! Good to know, Well, Good to know! I'll be sure to grab that after we're done. Oh, shit! Shit! Please, let me go! I thought you were a big, tough action movie guy! See, you can act! Don't listen to all those movie critics! Are those crazy old bricks with you? Just me and you, honey bun! Did you have fun with those two? They're harmless, aren't they? They are not harmless! Those fucked up power games, the things that woman may be due to her feet! Ah, you lucky boy! Older women are to be cherished! But <clears throat> I've decided to accept your kind offer on the understanding that you keep your mouth shut. Unless, of course, you want to be returned to uh, Sir Fruit Cake and Lady Screwloose back there. No, 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 I, I promise to uh, take it all. Just, just let me go. Hey, keep making terrible movies, Al. Don't you move! You're coming with me!
Enjoy the slipstream, buddy! This is the only way I'm going down! Whoa! What are you doing? I've surrendered. What more do you want from me? Whatever, dude. Find us another ride. In now. Come on, seriously? So I forgot to show for court. No biggie. Lesson learned, let's move on. Is that the best pitch you can come up with? Are you kidding me? I pitched the world leaders, man. I'm in banking. Complex derivatives. Complex derivatives. Ah, wow. Well, what are the chances? I'm in banking, too. Large withdrawals. Then you know where I'm coming from. Play hard, go big, no regrets, right? All I'm regretting is not killing you, but the journey's still young. Wow, bus kill alert. Come on, don't tell me you didn't rush your tits off back there. Zaz -zaz -zing. <laughs> An original getaway, I'll give you that. That's me, dog. Unconventional. You see my ink, right? I mean, you never guess I have an MBA. I'm going full sleeve this year, FYI. Hello, Mud. Look at the two of you. Have you been keeping handsome? Uh, up and down, to be honest with you, Mud. Life can be confusing, Trevor. In my youth, I wanted to be a cheerleader, and I nearly made it to the top. But then I discovered a burning passion for justice. And that's what brought you here, huh? No, but that's another story for another day. Leave him here, and I'll send you a fresh sheet. So, I'm sitting in a go-kart with nowhere to go. That's an all-terrain vehicle fitted with GPS tracking system, CB radio. That'd be the radio we're talking on, man. We use this to pick up the shipments. 
There's a plane making a drop soon near a mobile home off East Joshua Road. Make it fast. Those rednecks have been sniffing around. I think you'll find rural American is the politically correct term. And I think the cops got eyes on us, so try to avoid the main roads. Is there anyone who doesn't know about this? Made the pickup. Good job. Before they even knew you were there. Oscar! Tango, Foxtrot, Whiskey! Oscar! Hey! Oh, you're on the edge. I like that, I think. Okay, that plane is, is custom fitted for package drops. State of the art radar, secure radio. It's tricked out, man. Really? Because it looks like it was made by a child for a school project. You're just a typical classic light aircraft enthusiast enjoying his midlife crisis. No profile. My middle name. Okay, radar's working. You're up on the screen here. We got two deliveries. I put in the coordinates. You make the drops. You get out of there. Easy. Roger. Oscar. Trevor.
That one's a hit. Good work. Head for the airfield now. That was the last drop. All good, Trevor? Oscar, que onde, compadre? Hey, I didn't know you spoke a real language. Damuna, mamada. Kirama, mamacita. <laughs> Shit, man. Do you even know what you're saying? I learned everything I know from some lovely ladies just south of the border. Ah, okay. How long have you been up here anyway? You seem to know your way around. Maybe five years on and off. I pretty much stay north now. Too much competition. Have to stay visible. And you? I mean, even I know that ain't a San Andrean accent. Sandy Shores, few years. Self-destructive right-wing misfits, meth, guns, incest. Closest I could find to the Midwest. Like Father Christmas has been a bad boy. There's a bounty on your head, and it's mine! Stay back. You're not taking me in. I won't let you control me! Okay, okay. I give up! Oh, good, good. Now heal. And no begging. I'd rather die fighting than surrender to the hypocritical laws of your oppressive regime. Uh, although you did, in fact, surrender. I took a stance, didn't I? Stared the bully in the face, then backed down at the last minute. That's how activism works. Not that I'd expect on the My best drone of a nanny state like you to understand. Whatever. You know, I never realized hobos were so well armed. 
I'm not a hobo. I've made a conscious decision to reject the capitalist society. By living in a hobo camp? It's a lifestyle choice, you government stooge. And have you looked in the mirror recently? This discrimination disgusts me. I only just got out of jail with a sit-in protest outside the exchange in Liberty City. Such a sense of the power of group action. I tell you all to Hmm. What are they trying to send you down for now? I didn't pay much attention to your file. Of course you didn't. I assaulted a cop at an anti-globalization rally, beat him up with a fire extinguisher, and I'd do it again. Screw the police! Nothing but mindless stoolies of the totalitarian regime. You're preaching to the choir, Pops. What? You're worse than they are. A paid thug of a corrupt legal system rounding up agitators for the ruling autocracy? A puppet on a power trip. I just wonder who's got their hand up your ass. Whoa! Hold on there, socialist Santa. If you want an anarchy off, any day. I wreak indiscriminate mayhem on an hourly basis. And secondly, no one! Well, if it isn't my dear old buddy Trevor, and he's brought me this reprobate. Hello, Maud. You know, I kind of look upon you as the friend I never had, the son I never wanted, and the shrink I could never afford. You do? Kind of. The pursuit of criminal men for profit is back-breaking, soul-crushing work. Oh, I can only imagine. I'm retiring, Trevor. I want a peaceful life, away from all this insanity and degradation. I want a picket fence, and a husband, and a dog named Skip. I want the dream, Trevor, and I won't let anyone stand in my way. Good for you, Maud. I wish you well on that quest. I'll find it, Trevor. I'll find it all. I'm a passionate woman. Goodbye, my boy. Goodbye, Maud. Be well. you just sit on that radio all day? I just got a tip. The Salvadorians found out about a drop we're getting near the docks. You gotta get there. Quick, T, or we're gonna lose the package. Oh, when are these clowns gonna get the message? Okay, got a visual on the poacher. You can relax, Oscar. They're all dead. I never relaxed, but that's good to know.
right on my ass. Finally lost those sons of bitches. Gracias a Dios. Shit, cops. Trevor Phillips reporting for duty. Good. Listen, man, we got some heat. Cops, feds, uh, I ain't sure, but they got radar set up. Scanners. They know there's an operation going down here. So you're saying we lie low for a while? No, just lie low. Business don't stop. Buyers are waiting. If you stay close to the ground, you won't pop up on their radar.
Would you look at that? Down, down! You're all over police radar! You stay at that height, you're gonna come up on radar! Get this straight. I, I bought the hangar, I fly the plane. What you bought was a share of the business, a business that has taken a long time to set up. I handle the contracts, uh, the logistics, uh, the communications, the authorities, the competition, and so, yeah, yeah, you fly the plane. And you track my every move. It's a perfect storm of paranoia and recklessness. How can we go wrong? And about this competition. Who the fuck are they? Who aren't they these days, man? They're runners everywhere. Some local crazy rednecks. And the Mexicans, of course, mainly the Aztecas right now. And the Salvadorian gang, the Marabunta Grande, they got real dangerous the past six months. There used to be enough pie to go around. Now everyone wants the same piece. Eh, and who are you with? Just so I know who I'm pissing off. I'm independent. I work with local buyers up here, the cartels down there. I mean, I'm not stupid. I look after the bagos, I pay dues to Madrasso, but I'm freelance, man. Okay, Oscar, time for Daddy to go to work. We got another pickup near the old farmhouse in the Santiago Mountains. Keep an eye out for the Aztecas. They picked up one of my pictures in Veracruz. Or maybe they should keep an eye out for me. Probably safer to stay off-road. There's a lot of heat around here now.
Mission secured, amigo. Good job. Before they even knew you were there. I think I lost them. Good job. So I got a little police problem, Oscar. Oscar, you there? What's the draw? Oh, something different, something different. The Aztecas have become a problem again trying to lure a couple of our customers. The plane's been rigged with bombs. Well, I say we hit back now, take out a few of their bases, and remind them who they're fucking with. Loud and clear, amigo! If there's one thing Trevor Phillips Industries prides itself on, it's fair competition in the marketplace.
fly back to the airfield. Thank you for flying Air Phillips. This is your captain speaking. You might have noticed some turbulence during the recent bombings, but we're expecting a smooth run in. So sit back and enjoy the flight. <laughs> I like you, Trevor. You're just crazy enough. I agree. That should keep your fellow countrymen out of our way, don't you think? For now, there's always more where they came from. Yeah, I've been having similar issues with some bikers. They all get the message eventually. me now. I have another pickup near the old rail station. Get over there before it falls into the wrong hands. I heard lots of Marabunta guys have been seen around there the last couple of days. Consider it done, oh invisible master. being chased now. I'm fine. I wish I could say the same for my visitors.
This one's gotta be shared. What? That crazy motherfucker Lamar hasn't got you killed yet? No, not yet. He must be slacking. He's always slacking. He's a fool, bro. Yeah, sometimes. Anyway, talking of fools, what would you say if I told you some fools I knew were running a little racy? Bronze medal then? <laughs> Funny motherfucker. Let's go! Constitutional. Congress was lied to by yellow journalism. So I take it I can count on your attendance, friend. Huh? At the smoke in. We're what? Yeah, we're gonna bring down the government by smoking weed together in a public place. It's very effective. I'm prepared to be a martyr, friend. Are you? Shit, if being a martyr means to smoke good weed, for sure. You like a little warm-up? You know, before you go and collect the supplies? Before I what? You know, get the supplies. Can't have a smoke in without smoke. <laughs> you know, cerebral stuff that's gonna get the people up off their feet protesting. Man, I don't know. It sounds kind of bullshit to me. You know, we're gonna crush them with our resolve. <clears throat> have a little taste of that. <clears throat> <sighs> Just a mellow, sophisticated high. Man, it seems a little dry. Can't you see the aliens? Man, what else are you taking? Man, this shit is garbage. Anyway, just get the stuff. It's a revolution, and then call me. Crazy motherfucker.
San Andreas needs you. I I'll text you where the stuff is. My good deed for the day. I can't thank you enough. My boss would have killed me. Oh, you shitting me, right? 